All right, so as you can see, the, the clear embossing powder just kind of made a little bit of a, um, you know, it has a three-dimensional quality to it, and it's clear, so you can kind of see the underneath it. And I took a black um, acrylic, and I just did a wash and rubbed it in real quick. And then I thought, like, well, a couple of flowers are good. More is better, right? So I added a few more flowers onto each of the um, panels. And now I'm going to continue to build up the backgrounds. And I'll probably start using some of the Stabilo, um, the woody. And not so much all over, but around the edges is what I'm thinking. And I did for a half a second think I was going to use a different color embossing powder, which I still may at the end, but um, it may actually be too much. So I'm going to hold off on making that decision until a little bit later. But my next step is to keep building up the backgrounds. And I'm going to leave some space because I do want to put those luggage tags on, there some, on here somewhere. So... Um, I do need to kind of figure that into the design, so just kind of watch me. I'm going to keep building those backgrounds, and we're going to have some fun. And we'll be back shortly to finish, her, finish this little project up.
winding up and I decided at the last minute to add that darker color because I felt like it needed a little bit more contrast. So I like the fact that the flowers are fading in the background, the clear ones, and I just did some rubbings and added some paint on there. And then I went back and I did, used a gray, kind of like a darkish gray um, embossing powder on the ones that are coming forward. And used my, my Spello pencil to get some graffiti writing in the back, which I always love. And then as I, I did a whole bunch of the, um, the luggage tags and I, I, I stained them just so they would you know, not be so stark when I added them onto the, the pieces. But now that I'm looking at this and I'm placing them, and I did pick out numbers, because, um, specific numbers. Um, 13 is my birthday. 20 is for my son Josh and 14 is for my other son um, Zach. So that make a nice little trip tack here. But as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking like these luggage tags are too big, big for the pieces themselves. So luckily they have these little perforations at the bottom. So I think this would be perfect if I just collage this size onto the piece. So those are all decisions you just have to make when you're, you're reviewing your compositions and kind of make adjustments based on your original ideas. And, um, you know, don't worry. You, you just have to trust yourself that you can figure out figure out what's next. So all I'm going to do next is just going to collage those on and then I'm going to clean up the edges and we're going to call it a day. So hopefully you enjoyed this little project and we'll see you back here um, shortly for our closing comments. Well, thank you everybody for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Find Out Fridays. Um, once again, my name is Jody Ola, and uh, thank you, Donna, for having me. And by BTW, I have you. Um, if you're watching this in December, I'll be at Donna's studio. I think it's January 21st and 22nd, right around there. We're going to be doing a two-day weekend of Zen paintings. So if you haven't seen my Zen paintings, um, they are so much fun. And so here's like a little plug for that. I... Um, You'll, you'll learn so much about shading and using a water media approach um, to painting. Um, it, this is a, a great process and you'll learn tons and tons of stuff. Um, so please join us. We have a couple more people or a couple, we can fit in a few more people. So once again, happy holidays to everybody and uh, come visit me on my website, jodiel.com. <music>